Welcome everyone to the final part of Calamity Trigger. Finally. We're, we're finally here. Um, After being abused by Harkoman for like a cl cl like community of like two many, hours. Uh, how many months have we been doing this? <laughs> it's been a while actually. Three, I don't know about three, months. Three months at most, I think. Really? Like, God, let, like, let, me, feel like yeah, that. let me check. Let me check when was part one up. Uh, up. Let me check. Uh, God, it doesn't part, feel like that long. <laughs> part one was three months ago. Yep, three months. Three months ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yep, three months ago was. Uh, so yeah, after three months, you're finally finishing Calamity Trigger. Thank goodness. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Well, you don't like clanky controls and overcomplicated story like like. The gameplay. <laughs> so yeah, yeah join me as always. This is Will the Paper Bag and Owen the Lego Aussie. <laughs> I wish. He's still I wish I had Lego. He's still waiting for his Lego set in the mail. And I am Good in, old you know, I am in college. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so anyways, now we're going to. I completed Ragnar and the Wells stuff off screen. So there, everything... That was totally fun and not convoluted at all. Uh -huh. So <laughs> yeah. everything is complete. So well, it wasn't us running around in circles. Uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah, everything's complete. Thank God. So now we're into the true ending. Ugh. Okay, let's see what's going on here. True ending stories. Ragnar the Blood Edge. All right, who wants to be narrator, man? A gentle breeze blows through Ragnar's hair. It's end. It's the end of December, but the breeze feels warm, probably because it's coming from the hierarchical city. The hierarchical city. The city's climate is re is regulated by Ars Magnus to make it more hospitable. I like the limits through the haze. It's the Kagatsuchi Tower. Anyway, the seether is pretty thin around here. Ragnar takes a deep breath and fills up his right hand. Lifts up his right hand. The plate on it begins to glow. A ring starts to take shape in the air, about as high as Ragnar's as tall. Is someone taking a picture of him? <laughs> I guess. He steps through the ring and it glows. A seal appears in the air behind him, and Aris. It doesn't look any different. He doesn't look any different. But the RS has erased his presence. Ordinary people won't even notice him now. Well, I guess it's about the right amount. Walking down a path as choked as choked with Sitha as as this one is suicide for most people. Ragnar doesn't think he's likely to meet anyone. But there are a few people who like Ragnar prefer to travel on foot. The concealment RS is for them. Ragnar senses someone behind him. He knows landing it and enemy get to jump at him would be a pretty bad idea, which is why Let's he see. chooses to travel undetected. I guess I can get there by dawn. He sighs. He picks up the pace. Then picks up the pace. What a pain in the ass. Suddenly he feels a powerful presence in his back. He spins around to confront it and sees a small shadowy shadow moving through the thick blue clouds. The shadow isn't human. It's a cat, but not just any cat. Ragnar knows him. He's arguably the strongest creature on this planet. Watch yourself, kid. Out this late, you might run into a ghost. Or oh, even worse. It's just you. Me. You no, know, ghosts never show up in a place like this. They normally appear in wells, attics, places like that. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell did you hear that? I never was one for idle chit chat. So what do you need from me? Don't tell me you're here to pick me up. Are you trying to tell me you took care of it so I should just go home? Ah, oh, nothing like that. Just thought I'd say howdy. Been following you for a spell. Hmm. So that strange presence was you. Knew I was there, did you? Yeah, for a while. You have been gradually shortening the distance between us, so I set up a camouflage just in case. I wanted to avoid battles if I could. Since it turned out to be just you, I guess I overreacted. Ha! I must be getting old if even a greenhorn like you can spot me. <laughs> What's so funny? You should be happy as a master that your apprentice has grown. 
<laughs> good, look how happy yeah. he is. <laughs> you gotten that good, you ain't gonna have no trouble at all. Huh? With what? Gonna be a mite different this time, kid. Things ain't gonna go the way you think. I'm just making sure you got fair warning. About what? Without that information, it's not a very good warning, you know? I saw him. He's here. Him? He's looking for you. Hmm, You'll him. run into him sooner or later. What the hell are you talking about? Can you explain it to me in a way that I can understand? Don't need to. You'll understand when you meet him. Well, this is you vague and helpful, thank you. Human language? You're not making sense at all. <laughs> Sorry, but I ain't human. You know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. What a cop and answer. You tell me after all, are you? You've never answered my questions on matters like this. All right, I gotta get going. Unlike you, I only have human legs. I want to get there by dawn. That's so? Well then, Ragna, I guess I'll be seeing you. Yeah, yeah, good luck to you too. Uh, just before, it's interesting to point out the fact that, like, the only time we see characters outside of the city is, like, Ragnar. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. He's traveling. He traveled mm. here. Jupe, Jupe. Jupe watches Ragnar's. Yeah, I keep getting mixed up with your bloody cat's name, Will. <laughs> 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 Oh, I, mean, I, I almost named my cat Jubei. He doesn't deserve, <laughs> he doesn't deserve that name. <laughs> Watch his rug that's the fact is he stomps off I, I didn't name him that because he was an orange cat. <laughs> that's fair. Well, the final final L to his former student, the cat fades back in, into the seat there. I don't know, that was just a really kind of this nice interaction with Ragnar. He wasn't a dick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, Jubei, is his, uh, Jubei did raise him, so he's pretty much his father. Hmm. Ragnar already knew what Jube had come to tell him, but it didn't make him feel any better about it. He had a bad feeling about the whole thing, and the closer he got to Kagasuchi, the worse that feeling got. Jube, Jube's warning hadn't helped. He'd been, he'd been to plenty of high article city, cities, and destroyed plenty of library branches and their cauldrons. So wait, there's multiple cauldrons? Yeah. Each, uh, each city each, is... each, each city has a cauldron. Oh, okay. Guys, the That's totally safe. The, 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 the Ragnar's been going to each cauldron and destroying it. Okay. That's why he's trying to have the have war criminal. This uneasy. Une what the hell is this sensation? Am I scared? No, no way. I see. Then you're saying you don't remember anything peculiar about Major Kisaragi's recent actions. Is that I right? think, did we, did we make the transition? Yes. Yeah. It just fade. fade, fade it was just a fade transition, that's it. We went from Ragnar to this. What is it? I, I, I looked away, I was confused. I suddenly felt dizzy, so I don't remember clearly, but... Dizzy? Yes. I don't know why, but I suddenly felt awfully dizzy. So, I'm not sure if what I'm about to tell you is credible at all. No, anything will be helpful. It might lead us to some crucial clues. Okay. Uh, um, I have a feeling Noel gets dizzy the often. The Major was laughing. I'd never seen him laugh like that. Laughing? Major Kisaragi was laughing? He never does that. I excuse me, <laughs> please continue. Yes, sir. And he was laughing hard. I don't know why the major suddenly started laughing like that. He must saw a really good comedy really that night. I was surprised by it. <laughs> well, I have to say, anybody would be surprised to see Major Kisaragi laugh hard. There's something overwhelming about that laughter. As if he was haunted. I was horrified. And, as he laughed, the Major repeated the name of the Grim Reaper like a mantra. Ragna. Mantra? Ragna. Uh, mantra is like a word for like a Ragna, the saying that you live by. Uh, this is important information, Lieutenant. Hmm. As we expected, Ragna the Blood Edge is likely to be the reason for Major Kisaragi's solo behavior. But why? Hmm. It all boils down to that question, after all. 
We thought it had something to do with Sector 7. Is something the matter? N no, it's nothing. Anyways, Ragna the Blood Edge might lead us to Major Kisaragi. <sighs> we should probably head to headquarters now. Huh? Why? Why? Lieutenant, Ragna's targets have always been the NOL, haven't they? It's only natural to think Ragna is headed for the NOL branch in Kagutsuchi. I'm sure that Major Kisaragi will figure out that's where Ragna will be. That'll naturally drive Major Kisaragi to the headquarters in Kagutsuchi as well. Uh, I see. At least it's not supposed to be at Kagutsuchi right now. I think they're supposed to be on a ship. There might be another reason for Major Kisaragi's solo behavior. Seriously, please pull yourself together, Lieutenant. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's too much reports. for Noel. <laughs> that's too much for Noel. You're asking too much for her. I haven't gotten around to it. How to defeat Noel? Show her panda. All the reports already, <laughs> but I'd like to avoid failing the mission and being held responsible for that failure only because you didn't completely grasp the situation. I know. I apologize. <laughs> it's all right, but. Make sure She's to like go a child. Them later. Hmm. It's morning already. Oh yes, it is. Ragna usually attacks the NOL at night. His actions during the day have never been confirmed. So I think it should be more effective to collect information in Kagutsuchi first, than staking out headquarters at this hour. Can you take care of it, Lieutenant? I will. Noelle's the true villain of this story. Why is, this? <laughs> Why is there no one around? There's no sign of any bad. Bored. Here. He's just bored. You're not? My brother? No, that can't be. What the what the hell's going on here? Save. So is Jin like experiencing like the other timelines? I guess I'll just head straight over to the branch. Mm, no, I just saw my pure screen. Every single light oh, okay. On top of mountains. It's such a pain in the ass. <laughs> Suddenly, wait. Suddenly, something blocks Ragnar's view. A sickeningly sweet smell fills the air around him, and he <laughs> feels dizzy. <laughs> oh, of course, of course, it's fucking bun. Want to run into Your bun. <laughs> hey, rabbit. What the hell are you trying to pull? You would do well to watch your mouth, peasant. <laughs> Must I educate you? Take this L. <laughs> Are you stupid? Do you even know what you're saying? Hmm? If you do understand the meaning of it, that's the last sentence I want to hear from you. Oh, is it? <laughs> Whoa, oh. What the hell? Watch out, you idiot! Rebellious servants <laughs> you must idiot. be punished. <laughs> hey, since when am I your servant? You idiot! Wait, it, you're not serious, are you? Now I'm gonna. Okay, so I'm gonna. Really no, I'm gonna exit the, the match movie. just to check what percentage we are on. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna test. So we're on. Yeah, just 20, to make sure. 21. Hello, we just before even a fight. This is 21 percent. I love it. <laughs> True ending. No icon. Nice. Just head straight over to so let's lose. So 21 percent. So let's lose for a team. Anything happens. Hey, rabbit. The wheel of fate is turning. Uh, <coughs> oh, she starts at half health. Huh. Oh, she's unlimited. She's unlimited. That's why. Oh. Oh, George does so much damage. That's terrifying. <laughs> There's another George! George is everywhere! Yep. <laughs> oh my god. George is terrifying. Oh my god. Battle 1 is unlimited. That's kind of bullshit. 
Oh, game oh, over. Oh, straight to a game over. So I don't think that counts. I think, yeah, I think yeah, it is just wins. Well, you want, all right, let's, okay, let's, let's, yeah. let's hope. Okay, let's let's hope we don't have to the story. Let's hope we don't have to do the freaking true ending again. Hopefully. Hopefully, Hopefully they, they, they find a time of development. They figured out they, they've given, they can give us a break and just have a simple linear story. It's like, yeah, it's like it's the true ending, aka okay? this is the actual <laughs> canon ending. Hmm. Uh, so this is the is this is this the canon story of this game right now? Oh, uh, part of it. <laughs> god damn it! It's complicated. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, Calamity Trick doesn't have a timeline, as Kabu said. It has a time cir the, the circle. <laughs> That's why it clocks around. <laughs> oh god. Oh, she's so low. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus! There we go. Oh, <laughs> she got you, man. Oof. Hey, what are you up to, <laughs> stupid ra Rachel? Wasn't exactly playful. <laughs> <laughs> stupid rabbit, Rachel. <laughs> Look at a smug smile. Oh my! Don't tell me. Is that all? No, that's not possible. You wouldn't wish to disappoint me, would you? This is dull. Why don't you die again? That should be interesting. <laughs> Jesus. Hey. hey. What? <laughs> oh, very well. I feel merciful today. So you may speak a few last words. My gift to you. But no more idiot. Or that's enough. Those are quite played out. I require something better. <laughs> How long do you intend to stand there? It is time for my tea, and I do not wish to look at you. <laughs> or perhaps just... you could care to share some tea <laughs> with me. Damn, Rachel. No, perhaps not. I doubt a person. It's such weird as you watching this and just thinking about man. Rachel used to be tea. such a horrible person early on in the series. <laughs> no thanks, I'm taking off. That is, if you let me out of here, you idiot. <laughs> you do enjoy calling me an idiot, don't you? I've kept track. It amused me. Keith? Yup, he said it five times! <laughs> oh my, somewhat less than I thought. <laughs> hey, that's enough. Stop treating me like I'm a moron. Whoosh. Oh, but you are. <laughs> Damn it. I can't believe that stupid rabbit threw me out like this. <laughs> Wait, isn't this the enemy base? Huh? There's no one around. Whew. What the hell's going on here? Oh, well, such a weird direction. Owen? Uh, Owen? Oh, give me a sec, sorry. All right, well, take over. <laughs> right, no, but swears to himself, something about this doesn't feel right. Oh, sorry about that. Um, but he really doesn't care if there's anyone there or not. He's not visiting the library, library for its people. The Grim Reaper has nothing else in mind. Has and something else in mind. And he's not here to run out of book. <laughs> <laughs> My brain just instantly went to Gamer's Guide to everything and have like the other you know, kid try to return the book. That's Ragnar right now. <laughs> try to return the book without getting fine. Oh my god. That's oh, so, that's, that's, a, that's show so batshit. I can't wait for that to be added to plus. <laughs> All he cares about is accomplishing what he came to do as soon as possible. Oh, he's like, sorry, he's closed the door. He stands before a huge set of doors. He tries the handle. They, they don't seem to be locked. He grits his teeth, grabs the handle, and throws open the massive doors. Oh, Bright light streams out from the room behind the doors. Rungna throws up his arms to shield his eyes and squints into the room. The room is huge and empty. The sound's deafening. Someone's there. Who's that? Is it? Jin, the light is too bright. He can't see their face. Can't even tell if the person's beating a little female. An officer from the library. <laughs> oh god, yep. Ragnar's eyes adjust to the light. The mysterious figure's face comes into focus. He recognizes it immediately. He snarls and lunges the figure. Memories come flooding back. Jin! Hey, anime cutscene!
Oh, hey! God, that face. Was this the first cutscene we've had? I was yeah. like, intro? Yeah. You can tell us the truth. Yeah, you can tell us the truth out there. Yeah. The sword's locked. A true stalemate. From in between the gap, they catch a glimpse of each other's faces. Ragnar's face distorted with rage. Jin's face cold, as cold as steel. Red versus blue. <laughs> Why did my brain immediately go to that as well? God damn it, Bruce the Teeth. Oh my god. <laughs> All go down and black coach blues. I was oh my very god. Tired of waiting. Long time no see. Ragnar. Long time no see. Long time no see. <laughs> I think this is like a Tom Scott sketch. Uh, Rungna's mind is filled with flames. He sees the past. Memories of the past. A room filled with fire. Jin, you bastard. Why so angry? We're finally able to meet again. Cut the crap, oh, bastard. Who would have thought that you were Ragna the Blood Edge? <laughs> I'm impressed. You have the highest bounty known to man. Everyone's after this Ragna the Blood Edge. Mind your own business. Almost black and white now. Oh no. What is this strange sensation? But you see, it is my business. You know I'm with the NOL. An enemy of the NOL is an enemy of my own. <laughs> Just kidding. I've never thought like that. <laughs> yeah? You sound like you're having too much fun. <laughs> oh, and you're not, brother? Oh, yeah, I am. Thanks to you, idiot. Wh why do you have to be so cold to me, brother? Brother, look at his eyes. Holy <laughs> shit, he's so insane. Fun like we used to. <laughs> What's the matter, brother? You're in my way. Get out of my sight. That hurts, brother. Am I really getting in your way? Don't make me say it again, Jin. So it's true. I'm a nuisance to you. Then, I guess we are, after all. I see. I guess I'll have to kill you. <laughs> what? Oh. The wheel of fate is turning. Oh, that cutscene was cool. Yeah. Why is it Why is it one hundred percent? Oh my god. At least he's not unlimited. Yeah, true. That's true. No, he just. Jin is so insane. I mean, it's great, but like, damn. Also, the, I, I didn't mention it before, like, the entire interaction with Rachel is the meme we made last time I've heard is he's the, take the L. Because she, what did she do? She teleported you to her realm, fought you, and abused you, and then sent you back. Yep. yep. So she, there was no lesson learned, was no, she just got bored. Yep. That's why <laughs> like, I had to make that meme. That meme was, uh, that, that meme was Rachel. Ah! Oh no. Oh no. And Jin, yep, game over. Jin turns you to ice. Yep, game over. <coughs> so yeah, we don't have to do all the loose stupid stuff. I guess I'll just head straight over to the oh, Wait, there was no Oh yeah, there was no save. Fuck, we're gonna fight Rachel right again. Cause there, there was no save in between the Oh race. that's a pain. God damn it. The God, buddy, do I need to go to the restroom? Ah, George, George, ah, George, George, well, commentate, huh? Commentate, we're live. I, I, I don't need, you don't need to comment all the time. Yeah, but we're live. 
Please, come on. No! Whoa! Dang it! Stupid George! I guess I'll just hit some. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one, action, slow down, 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 one, action, slow George! one, No! Fuck! No! No! no, no. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I guess I'll just head straight over to the branch. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one. Action. So dying. Dang it. Gauntlet Hades. So dying. George the 13th. George the 13th. No. No. Okay, back server. Oh, how are you going with uh, George. Uh, fun? George is. Oh! <laughs> what is the radius of George? Uh, oh. No, 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 no! Oh, no! Oh, no. no. Oh, 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 oh. Damn it! Oh, oh my god, how long does he stay up for? He's unlimited, it's a very while. Unlimited George is strongest. Unlimited George is strongest. <laughs> Listen, you're not actually fighting Rachel right now, you're fighting That's Unlimited George. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of like bullshit that you need. A, there's no safe point between the fights. So what is the point? Oh. What is the point on limited mode? Because I pretty sure it's banned. Uh, fastest. Yeah, but isn't it banned? Because you get unlocked limited mode yourself for regular play. But is that like banned in tournaments? I'm assuming. The yeah, it is. is what's the point of it? Yeah, because it, it, from what I've been seeing with the gameplay, all it does is just give you a flat increase in your base damage and also all your attacks. It also gives you over overpower attacks. I don't think I don't think a limb is even in Metro Fiction. And not in Metro Fiction, be and Metro Fiction, aka the final boss of, of those games were easy. Because they realized that <laughs> oh wait, a limb is kind of stupid because that means because it's not like oh you're man, forcing out players to play as Carl against unlimited news. Totally, totally fun experience. There we go. That was a but clean yeah, win. Nice. Like the idea of limb is most stupid hey, because to, stupid it's banned in tournaments, so Rachel? you're not gonna you. People are not gonna exactly play with it because it's banned. Because it's banned in tournaments, so it's not like I use it for practice. So what's the point mm. of living it? <laughs> yeah, I think that's well, the only real point is to add artificial challenge to the bosses. Mm. Well, I mean, they're boss fights. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. It's still like it's stupid. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Central Fiction has, has a. My Central Fiction has, has three. Wait, three oh. unlimited? Three unlimited characters? Nine is a Nami and Ragna. But I, I beat those story modes, I didn't unlock them. Apparently huh. they're secrets? What? Oh, that's weird. Alright, so now time to beat the shit out of you. Ah, God! What? He just starts off with that? Can he start off <laughs> with Can he start with freaking 100 points? Oh my god. What the hell, Jin? Jesus. Yep. Oh, shit. Oh. No. oh, god damn it. The grabs are so bullshit. No. Again! No, 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 no! Oh my god, what is this? I swear the eye has been bumped up for this. I think it have. They all have. I guess it's the final, it's the final freaking 
And the uh, chapter. Uh, the, is do you still the AI set on like easy? Because remember the uh, no, 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 you messed with the I settings have, before. I have it normal. And I don't want to put it easy because that's whip mode. Oh no, that's that's fair. I I just didn't know if you changed it or not recently. Oh man. <laughs> like, like, why is Rachel doing this? It's like, hmm. I, I, I'm bored. Time to abuse Ragnar. <laughs> like, what's the point? What's the point, Rachel? Come on. Oh, damn. That was a nice. Oh, oh George. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> he gets close yeah, to you. I'm just like, oh, God, no. George's power him. I love how he has that subtle glow. Sure he's <laughs> Why is he still around? He should be done. He's still there. Stay back. <laughs> he's still around. Does he actually go away? Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> he's, more, he's more scary than Rachel. Does her grab just slap you? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 oh, no, 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 I guess I'll just <laughs> George's fear, George's power. George's fear. Yeah. He does so much damage. He, he does like f f five or six Rina bursts Rina before he actually Rina. leaves. Like Rina. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> I love you. Just use uses uh, guild for a shield. Yeah. <laughs> and his face is like. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh. There we go. Yeah. Dealt with the brat. Yeah. Jin. Jin is kind of bullshit. <laughs> like. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Jin's Jin's AI the here is insane. The fact there's a save point between the two. Hmm. That seems to be like a bit of an oversight. God. Like, ah, oh, he opened with his distortion last time. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I guess just be ready straight away. Nice. Oh. Oh, your God. And blocking. He's not even limited. How is he doing this much damage? Because he's because he starts out with 100 percent. Does your damage go up if that does not? No. Oh my God. Oh my god, Jin! Oh! Why is he just. Uh. I guess I'll just head straight over to <laughs> See, the this is for me a better so challenge than just setting something unlimited because the AI is smarter, more proactive. Then my only, pro than my only problem is there's no save point in between. Yeah, why is there no save point between them? Get that. It's such a silly thing to ha not have. Especially if there's no save point between an unlimited fight and a regular fight. Part the base blue character feel like you're a major high level player. Yeah, I mean, I understand that as you know that I that um philosophy of game design like a triple down balance. But there's a story. But there's a story mode. I feel like the rule of story mode you should at least make it make it really simple for people. He would just want to play Especially if mode. the player's it's already different. gone through every other story yeah. mode. Oh my god. Like, I feel like the rule, nice. uh, rule is, it, 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 like, you should make hey, the story mode at least to, decent. Rat. Like, not to be challenging, Rachel? but at least easy enough for non, Wasn't like, exactly for people who are not into fighting games but just want to play for the story. But the fact yeah, see, don't go through the Mind Number 9 problem where designers just straight up admitted, yeah, we made this for speedrunners. <sighs> Yikes. They just you know they, they, they made they just made an interview. They made that game for high level uh, for a high level speedrunner. Uh, some games <laughs> trickle I I I understand the use of trickle down balance and some games I guess it's better for, but I I I'm never a fan of balancing your game according to the highest level of play and just 
for getting the low levels of play just because like oh it's balanced with high levels it means it should be right for the low levels but, uh, I mean, that just establishes a, a way to play that I'm not a fan of yeah exactly like, like a lot of people like it it's, it's very common in the uh, shooters mm -hmm. Like, oh, yeah, ever since the arena shooters, it's such like Overwatch and uh, Team Fortress well, 2. I would feel like, I think for shooters, it, I think the gap is a little smaller? I'm like, that. I mean, uh, for me, I have no fan because it's like. Damn it! Oh my god, Jin. I mean, you did the, the, you did a good start of that. I liked a bit when you both like, knocked each other down to the ground. <laughs> just by playing down there. That was nice. Like, just is this, this is the first save point in the game, isn't it? Is this the first save point in the true ending? Oh, why? Is this there one after this fight? The wheel of fate is turning. Who are the developers for this? Arc Systems. Arc Systems. Arc Systems. Oh, I'm just curious, like... They made, a lot, they made Guilty Gear Dragon Was this their first game? No, no. Guilty Gear. No, okay, okay. As I said, I wonder if it's a for high level play because oh, it's gonna be weird. Still, like, we already told you about the whole reason why plays got even made, right? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was originally gonna be um a RPG, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, but it was made. Yeah, no, it was gonna be RPG, but then it, but then it's not gonna buy a game because you need a buy a game. Well, the, the main story is they make plays. They main their main fighting their fighting games did before this was Guilty Gear. Problem is, what was it? They ha they hire a bunch of guest artists to design the character. No, 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 no. Uh, licensing the pre the people who like can make skinny will freak read up on. But it was like it wasn't. It was like say artists. It was something else. Pretty much, pretty much, uh, uh, pretty much. They couldn't use. They want to make the. They couldn't make a new Guild Gear game a anymore because they couldn't use half the characters because they had to pay a bunch of royalties the fate for is them. Burning. So they made Sammy Studios. Yeah, that was a company. So they they made Buzz Wu to be its replacement. Buzz until they finally get all the rights back for those characters for Guilty Gear. Hmm. Sammy Studio was, was, was bought out by by by, by Sega. And Sega on all the characters that are public understanding. Interesting. It's so, it's so weird they've made it a lot of these very non like player friendly decisions. And that's oh, the thing, yeah. they, they think that's they probably said, oh we'll design the, our combat encounters no! for the no! Oh no, no, you ran into it. <laughs> God damn it, Jin. <sighs> like they probably designed this for like the higher level players, like you know the AI and the certain aspect. But like, I don't understand why the last thing, the true ending, the primary story aspect of this game, which is like after you've gone through everybody else, so you've already done the hard yards of fighting everybody. But now it says, "Oh, now do it ahead." But now it's even harder. It's like, no, that's you know, you don't go all out constantly. You gotta, you know, go up and down with your tension. You know. Go higher and don't start the first fight of this thing with unlimited. I guess they kind of give you a leeway because they put it at half health, but still. And the hell that I'm not, and plus the hell, if you're not good with rock, that this is the ass. And yeah, you don't play rock. And also, if you're playing on a horrific course, you're like, this is harder. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. George is out. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh god. No, George, please. Oh. <laughs> oh, did that not do damage to you? I blocked. Oh, nice. I was, I was really confused. At oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, George. Oh, man. If you didn't get that last hit, in, I think George was after you. <laughs> what are you, stupid rabbit? Oh my god. Jin! Why is this such a pain that asks for fire? Like, why is the AI for Jin so difficult? Is it just because final boss must be hard? Final. It's not even boss, it's just encounter. Yeah, he's not limited. It just gets what you start raising as 100%. He starts with it. Was it some, is it actually like unlimited, but it's just not showing you graphically? No, no it's not unlimited. They're not. They're not bullshit like that. They aren't. Yeah, okay, if it's unlimited, then his main should be in pain. <laughs> hmm. It just. Wait, uh. wait. Did his meter even went down? He did. He did a distortion. His meter didn't went down. It's super yeah, it's permanent 100. 100. What? That's kind of fucked. 
Yeah, I... I don't think it's talented in any other game, I think. Like... Ah! Uh, yeah, it goes straight back up. As soon as you consume uh, any of it, it goes straight back up to 100. What? That is so bullshit. Who thought this was a good idea? Like... Yeah, I hate doing Wismo, but I want to get a move on. So I'm gonna turn... I, I'm gonna lose points for him. I'm going easy so I can get a move on. Nah, I wouldn't say you're losing points. Like that is a bullshit fight, and it shouldn't be that bullshit. There, but yeah, I, I just <laughs> put game difficulty to hell. Oh no! <laughs> On this like, port, ugh. are you insane? <laughs> I'm only yes. doing this just so we can move on. Exactly. I'll, like I'll turn, you know, I'll turn it back to normal ugh. after we're done with the gin fight because Jesus, if we get another save. Oh well, yeah, we get our save. <sighs> you know, his saves are pretty scarce in this, apparently. We just started this. Yeah, I like, like, I I just feel that that gin fight is... If they're, if they're unlimited, okay, fine. But if they're, if they're not unlimited, they just have an incredibly advanced AI and, um, like, also 100% of the meter all the time. It's like, that's a like, bit... Look, no matter how skilled a player is, if AI just spams its distortions, it's... Cheap. I mean, no matter how skilled the player is, an AI can always outskill them because if they're tuned perfectly, then they know they can literally perfectly execute every combo yeah, so at you, exactly the right yeah, time. Yeah, because with the source, because uh, with the sources for people, you have to input put it, so there's a delay, so you have to mm -hmm. input the command. AI mm -hmm. just snap the fingers; they can do it. Yeah, it's it's so it's, ugh. not good. I love that when she gets defeated, she's not even like on the ground knocked out or something. She's just laying on top of like one of her familiars. Nago, yeah. Nago, Nago. Nago. I keep getting the black one's name. Nago's the Nago is the least for it's, it's forgettable one. I don't blame you. Yeah, yeah because Gil's I don't know Gil because he gets abused a lot. Yeah, he's yeah, a, he's he's a fat, like, he's a fat red pudding bad. <laughs> Jin, why just don't? Okay, Jin, just don't. Alright, what's up with AI Swap stupid now? Probably. Hopefully. I mean, he already, like, isn't doing some insane shit. Okay, I'm just looking around the UI here. What is the barrier bar underneath your health? Bar? Okay, so that is that is just your blocking shield. Yeah, just block. Pretty much, uh, so what you do, what it is, is you press all the base buttons, you you use all the barrier, but you, like, let's say you get attack in a, attack in a, like, a chain, you, you, you use all your barrier, um, barrier bar, so you can get loose from that chain, but you can no longer block attacks, pretty much. <laughs> hmm. I just remember, they got out by a limit tiger because the limit tiger can dash. Oh, god. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! Oh, don't forget he still has his 100%. Not yet. <laughs> Let it go over the top of you. Oh no. No! I forgot! Oh, jump. what? He freezes, I forgot jump! I forgot it goes all screen. Across the blade floor. I, just head straight over to the I have vivid memories of that habit when I was fighting as Tubaki. Oh my god. <laughs> the only <sighs> thing to do that comes close to this is, is Tubaki. How long is this route? Like, this is only the first two encounters. Uh, don't worry. Uh, don't, uh, don't worry. Midway through, Rana, Rana becomes a himself and you can just blaze through it. <laughs> Why is he oh. not living? It's a story mode. Story! story. <laughs> Cause story. Oh no. God, jeez, he's just zapping you hard. Oh, does Ragnar have lifesteal? Yeah, you tap out fire and raise the speed of the child. Oh, okay. Yeah, when you're having a snap, because that pop for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like, I find it, because I was just like, see a lot of like, red effects going on when you attack. I'm like, what is, what even is that? Then I see your health was going, I'm like, what? You can life steal? Okay. It is, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's male velvet. Yeah, he's Pretty much, yeah. God, Jin. Ugh. Chris, <laughs> when Jim becomes more harder than Hockerman. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna Hockerman, you gotta fight him.
Here's the deal, I, I fought Hulkman so many times, I kinda learned, I can't, my brain learns how he works. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Where Jin is like, you know, he's still haven't fought him as much. Action! Did that attack just not hit then? <laughs> Did he just stay chill? Jump yeah. up, kick back! Oh! Why does so many of his attacks just like go across the entire field? Yeah, if only Jin did that one moment, uh, did that Zane even that one moment where rides the snakes and frees himself. Where he freezes himself? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be funny if it was like one of those charged characters, you know, he charges up attack, but if he charges it too long, he just freezes himself. Oh. Oh. Ah! Oh, finally. <laughs> Oh, Jin, you bastard! Yeah, uh, I'll turn back to normal when we get to if we get saved. So I won't have to uh. off. Just lie right oh. there. Oh my god! Oh my god! And he's still Bro crazy. Brother, uh. brother. The one. <laughs> Is happening to me? What's this crazy vertigo? Major Kisaragi! Step, 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 step. Are you step. all right? Major! Loses heel. Major! He's unconscious. He seems to be injured too. Could this have been done by Ragna the Blood Edge? I oh, wonder. Good. The timing couldn't be more perfect. It's safe to say that the mission is complete. The timing couldn't be more perfect? If we were a little late, Hazama, Major Kisaragi would have been... Uh, Killed. you seriously think so, Lieutenant? Do you think you can stop Major Kisaragi after he goes out of control? I don't think it's possible for even two people. Even more so if it's something that even the Major couldn't defeat. Ragna the Blood Edge was probably here. That... but... My duty is to restrain Major Kisaragi, and not Ragna the Blood Edge. I have to say, this situation is quite convenient. What's the matter, Lieutenant Vermilion? Hazama, please continue attending the Major. I'll go after Ragna, whom I believe went inside. Hey, for me, be Another cool! Another duty of mine is to restrain Ragna. She tries oh, to be cool, really? at least. I guess you have no other choice, then. Alright. I'll see you later. I didn't realize this before, since I was panicking. But I haven't seen anybody since I got here. I've never seen a deserted department in the NOL before. Well, you don't realize today's There's a holiday, no and he didn't realize it. Would have missed that. Good. But why? If we leave Ragna roaming around like this, the situation will become worse. Why? Why did he say such a thing? Why? What well, tracks? Wrong those tracks. What the fuck? Um, he he tracked mud through the place. No, it's, it's, it's blood. <laughs> yeah, true. Eventually, she finds herself in a giant chasm that leads to the basement. Your valid control panel nearby indicates someone has already used the elevator to descend. An elevator? Why is something like this here? Have you never been inside this building, Noel? No, because oh, you never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's not her. District, it's not her. Um. Yeah, but like, has she never been? If they all have a culture, has she never been in, seen this in any of the other ones? Probably knowing her. Uh, there's uh, other bases that don't have cauldrons. <laughs> They're not have big cities. You seem. To oh, it's an actual regular base then. Probably not. Yeah. Well, I'll be in trouble if you don't try harder. Save. Save. Oh, oh look. Nope, I guess. <laughs> He's awesome. Awesome. CG. Good scene. Hell yeah. Climbs the elevator with a roar, it begins to move down. After what seems like an eternity, it finally hits, grinds to a halt. It must, it must be as far as it goes. Save. I'll break it. An elevator like this one. 
but none of them had any that took so long to reach the bottom. Ron can't help wondering oh, no, just Ryan. how deep rung the underground he actually is. Just when I thought it was taking too long, it finally stopped. The elevator doors opened. Save. Clear it before him. There's only one it? save. There's only what? one save in this true ending? Are you serious? Well, please tell you're not joking. I'm checking. I can't see what. No. What? No. It's no. so easy. Like the rat in chat is my feelings right now. Well, the, the, the live stream, the people watching you can't see it. Uh, uh, we're a live stream. I, I imagine the pain. That's all you need to think of. Yeah, it's like a pain. Let's think of the, 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 pre, the, the, the press fat rat, oh, if I feel. God. From rat movie. From rat oh, movie. God. This place does kind of look like that. Now then. Why is there one save? <laughs> oh, thank God! Oh, there thank is... God, I was wrong! Thank you! Oh my thank God! <laughs> I was getting real worried then. <laughs> my heart. <laughs> he freezes. The moment Ragnar sees him, he freezes. Not out of fear, almost as if he's been hypnotized. No matter how hard he tries to move, Ragnar can't lift so much as a finger. <laughs> Look at Ragnar's face, it's great. Ragnar grunts in pain. Every fiber of his body wants to get out of that room as far as as fast as possible. But no matter how much he struggles, his body refuses to respond. All he can do is stare there and stare at the man before him. His face is a mask. Ragnar can't see any eyes to speak of, but he can't shake the feeling that the creature is staring straight at him, as if it can see straight through him. Ragnar can't blink. The mask. Jim carries a mask? No, Bionicle. <laughs> yes. Fear rolls over him in waves. The thing standing before me is dangerous. Far oh. more dangerous than the other foe Or maybe it's the Oni mask from, from Sons of Garbodon. Maybe. maybe. Which one is this? Hatred? <laughs> Finally, no, he no, manages to no, force words from his dry no, throat. It's, it's the mask of your Huckleman! <laughs> <laughs> Bastard. Who are you? I am the end. Hello, I am the end of you. <laughs> Two GBs. Words echo through Ragnar's head. No need to. You'll understand when you meet him. This can't get any worse. Is something the matter? You seem to be shaking, Ragnar the Blood Edge. Is this pitiful child truly the most powerful this world has to offer? Oof. His voice echoes through the room as he unsheaths a sword as tall as he is. The sword is a brilliant silver and shines with a cool, hard light. Ragnar feels a drop of cold sweat trickle down his spine. He understands what's going to happen all too well. It terrifies him. The darkness that infects our world springs from you, a font of evil. I shall staunch that flow and put an end to you. Ragnar strains to move his body, drawing in all the energy he has left. It isn't enough. He remains un he remains trapped, paralyzed. All he can do is stand and watch. But he doesn't give up. He can't give up. One thought echoes through his mind. Put an end to your life instead, you son of a bitch. Cut the crap and just bring it on. I am the white void. I wipe the slate of the world clean that it may begin anew. I am Hockerman. We are Hockerman. At first, at first, let me turn it back to normal. Oh, he's not limited. Yeah, sure. How come he's not limited? Oh, wait. <laughs> Why is I still find all the first file was unlimited? Like, why? Because Rachel one because Rachel wanted to win a fight. <laughs> Alright, the six heroes. <laughs> the six heroes. So you have a rock. Zoop. Alright. I call this girl. That's why Hawkman's not like an asshole. Well, he is, he is one. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I wouldn't even see that much of an asshole. I'm like, not like Jin. Well, I'm, well, he is Jin, remember? <laughs> yeah, but like, you're know, different. Uh, this is the, the... He's, he's an alternate. He's an alternate universe, Jin, technically. Seriously? Yeah, one that's actually not a dick. Yeah, a, a one that actually loves his family and not just Ragna. Oh, that was brutal. You are Hawkman! You are Hawkman! Oh. oh, it's so close! Yeah. Nice! First try, or second try. But you won, why are you in this annoying? Huh? Crap! The end has come for you, Dark One. The sword descends! <laughs> what? How dare you interrupt me? <clears throat> Get out of my way, Grimalkin! Oh, come in, dude. Give me, give me food with the sword! Hey! <laughs> what the hell's going on? <sighs> Impossible! The causal interruption has been dispelled? Hey, get the hell out of there, now! You aren't strong enough to beat him! Who the hell are you? Stop talking inside my head! That doesn't <laughs> matter! Just get the hell out of there! Jager, Hulk was just like that. Sorry, Kokonoi, I'm tied up. Jager! Oh, hi, hi, Arachne. Who the hell are you? I did hear that as well, yeah, I was about to say, wait, am I just hearing things, or is that Arachne? Yeah, it's Arachne. Your time is done, Ragnar the Blood Edge. The ruler of the Netherworld calls your name. We're going to the pirate realm? As much as I want to get the hell out of here, yes. I don't think I can. Cutscene! Oh, nice. I didn't want to use this, but... Restriction 666 release. Dimensional interruption imaginary number formed. your grimoire activate it take this you son of a bitch <coughs> so you're limited now i guess yeah yes the real so uh, you know what the limit is pretty much the character's going full power no our, our health it's cut off i noticed yeah, yeah why is your health like gone I, um, does the health just not carry over from last time? No, I think. Uh, or is it just because you're using it, it takes away your life force or something? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I think lore, that's what it is. In lore, that, that's what it is for Ragna. Oh, God, that's okay. Oh, nice. Oh, got my health back. Yeah, you got yeah. a lot of health back from that. You also have health faster now. Yeah. Right. Oh, shit. <laughs> Again? He's on limited also, remember? He's also on limited. Oh, no, no. what? He blocked it. Faster. There! Nice. Good job. First try. Save. Oh, no, save. That's kind of them. What is this? Wait, no, uh, oh, wait, hey, guys, wait, guys, trumpet, summon, <laughs> wait, what, what, wait, 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 summon loser, there, there she is, <laughs> there she is, <laughs> oh my god, there we go, <laughs> oh god, she slowly moves deeper in, before her is a massive hole, and what looks like a pot, a pot, for a moment, she stuck, struck speechless by the spectacle, before. No, you haven't. Uh, uh, Trippy. Uh, 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 Skip because we've seen that so many times. Confirmation. Mm -hmm. Target confirmation. Target confirmation. Target confirmation. Target confirmation. I got that. No, broke. Why have her key back up? <laughs> this alt F4 -er. Ooh, animation? It's a 
Zaku. <laughs> yes. Murakumo unit activate. Identifying target. The target match has been confirmed. Who are you? I. 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 I am. Dimensional boundary contact medium number 12. Anti San Kishin core unit. Request what? explanation regarding circumstances and target. Yeah, I want that too, Noel. What is this? What am I saying? Noel is losing control of her body. The words coming out of her mouth are not hers. Existence description. Dimensional boundary contact prime field number 13 anti San Kishin core unit new. The existence of the target is a violation. Immediate self destruction is advised. Advice Fuck has you. been declined. <laughs> Existential <laughs> has been declined. Searching for secondary protocol. Unexpected contact with the same individual. The activation of the target has been confirmed. Termination is suggested. Thus, begin termination. God. Right. Oh, we have to play as Luther now? <laughs> so that was a weird interaction there. Yeah, also, yeah, put it 100. Yay! Oh my god. At least they give you stuff like that. Oh my god. So, is Noelle technically new 12? Yes. Cause she said she was number 12 there, yeah, she, new to the 13th. Yeah, no, she, no, she's the 12th, so she's, she's the 12th unit. She is new. Yeah. She is, she, they, her and Noelle are more curly units. Okay. Oh, lyrics! Oh, the, the most intro song's playing right now. Huh, interesting. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, why is she... I hate these attacks just out of nowhere. Nope. Oh, God damn it. No, new, new 13. New. Hey, at least we have a save. Oh, well. uh, yeah, at least we have the giving that generous enough to give saves now. Yeah. 58%. Jeez, I only 58. Okay. No, and you. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Tripping balls. Good old new. Her arm is cool though. I still think her arm is cool. Zaku. Yeah, it's cool. Deploying field. Counter! Counter! Oh, let's get a soundboard, just we get that. Counter! <laughs> if, I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I... If I ever get a soundboard, I have to put that as a soundbite. Yes. Just constant counter. Counter! 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 And probably, and probably have a J scream button. <laughs> and it's a cool uh, button! Yep. Did she say something trigger? Did she say club me trigger? Did we get a title drop? No, I don't think so. No. Do they do any title drops in these games? Well, yeah, they do. Well, I mean, Ryan says, well, well, that's the, well, that's what the time was they called. They do every game, Ryan. No. God damn it. Oh, isn't the loop call climb me trigger? What? Well, what's the, what's the time loop call again? Uh, that's the, when it, uh, the calamity trigger is going to be revealed in that final story mode. No, I forget. What was the time loop called again? It was Casino Shift, right? Yeah, Casino Shift. Here we go again. Uh, here we go. Oh, here we go. I mean, at least you're not getting like you're not getting completely destroyed by it. You yeah. actually put up a fight. Unlike some of the other fires you've had. Jin, Jin, <laughs> Jin. God damn it, Jin. 
Jin was just kind of bullshit. Ah, oh, the blocking. <laughs> I do love the bit where it's just like, um, recommend uh, self destruction. It's like, advice decline. <laughs> it's just like, no. <laughs> pretty, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Counter, counter, counter. Counter! 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 Uh, so much dialogue between fights. I mean, I guess that's just them telling about the story, but still, like. Can there be a safe one before fights instead? Yeah, that, yeah, that would be much better. The wheel of fate is turning. The wheel of fate is turning. Level one. <gasps> this background is so ins the, the background is really nice. The CG. Are they CG or 3D? They're 3D. I mean, same thing, Three. but. I won't lose! I will say that it is nice if you don't have to do anything like convoluted to get the full story on. It's not yeah, like, okay, it's win, lose, distortion, astrals. It's just win the fight. Oh, nice. Why was that again? Oh! oh. <laughs> there you, you have enough, you can just do it again. <laughs> nice. Save, yes. Oh, another save, thank god. No matter how many times no one attacks it, the creature won't stay down. Continue assault upon the target. I can't move anymore. Re-establishing connection. Is it over for me? Am I gonna die? Probably I'm not. I'm not scared. How many games do we, how many games do we have left, Lil? Is it because of the <laughs> Taurus? Uh, uh three. I'm hungry. No, well, really, you're time to think of food right now. now. <laughs> you want to go out and have a piece of cake? Dead people can't eat cake. I want cake. She's laying the coal. I hope you're cake. Ghosts can't eat dinner. Coal can. <laughs> coal can. Well, too bad, Noel. Oh, she's. She's waiting. F she waits for the final blow, but it never comes. Slowly, she opens her eyes. There's a man standing fr in front of her. His clothes are torn. His clothes are torn, and he's covered in blood. His back. His back is to her. His back is to her. That's a weird way of putting it. So she can't see his face, but something about him is nostalgic. <laughs> Tears begin to fall. She doesn't know why, or maybe she doesn't care. He turns around to look at Noel, and she can see sun and surprise in his face. It took too long to take care of that bastard. Hey, you! Stay where you are! Boy! The wheel of fate is turning. Hey, it's window opening. Guys, still unlimited! Yay! That's what we're saying, let's find the opening. Full health and unlimited, so that's a lot better. Looks like Noel actually has a not Noel. I mean, Noel though, V13 has a <laughs> new 13 has like a bit of a brain, isn't it? Like Jin though. Oh wow, but yeah, that's right. You're unlimited, so you do a ton of damage. No, but she's also limited, so you'll do the bunch of damage. It's a little bit more fair then. Is this a boss or no? Yes. Oh really? Okay. Not bad, not 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 bad, not bad. Nope. Oh god damn it. 
So he's walking around and he, 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 he points that because the limited rocket can just do that. <laughs> yeah, he's points. Yeah, just. Oh, got her anyway. Oh, oh, there's two rounds. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can tell it's the final boss then. <laughs> two mm -hmm. rounds, final boss. <laughs> oh. Well, it's, but it's, I think it's more first two than um. Best, it's probably best of three rather than just two rounds. Mm -hmm. yeah. Assume. Oh, yeah, 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 it is. It is. Okay. Go to hell. Go to hell. Yeah. Nice. And with the distortion as well. You just don't know when to stop, do you? Oh god. Ragna, it's impossible, Ragna. Nothing will change. You can't change anything. <laughs> oh. Oh. Why every day? God. How we? Now we. God. Ah. Bonk her with the Go to horny jail, with Noel. No new. Nothing new. God. Really? Lying down underneath a big tree. Hey, Penemy. Hey, you go, Penemy. Someone's <laughs> watching. This a is little my, girl. They told me it's my favorite tree, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> the light is too bright. You can't make out their face, her face. But something about her puts him at ease. She reaches out slowly and touches his face. Touch. A gentle smile crosses her face. Suddenly, he realizes who she is. Oh, hey, it's you, Saya. Are you feeling better today? Why don't you have eyes? What's wrong? Did Jin pick on you again? I'm exhausted. Can barely keep my eyes open. Hmm? Say that again? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Don't give up. Uh-huh. Give me your hand! Hurry! Ah. <sighs> ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> also, she, like, pulls him out? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Those, okay. those, those hats off. <laughs> and with that, yeah. and with that, Noelle ended the time loop. What do you think you're doing? She is the clever tricker. Do you do such a thing? Please, don't scare me like that. I was really worried about you. Seriously, how can you scare me like that? I, I, jeez. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. Stupid. Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing? Stupid, 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 stupid. Oh my god, look at it. Stupid. I mean, I guess I'm sorry. I my bad though. <laughs> I guess I'm sorry. God, oh well, chill. How long was this take? <laughs> Man, Christina, me, you Still can going. Man, Christina, you can cry for a long time. Jesus. Oh my god. What the hell is going on here? Man, she's fine. She's fine. Like a... <laughs> she fell she on the sleep. Fell asleep like a child. She's, she's a child. Herself to sleep. So what am I supposed to do now? Hello! Oh my god. You are always asleep when we meet. Rather rude, if you ask me. Hey, Rabbit. <laughs> Who's this? The new I. I? <laughs> the hell's that? Oh, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Can you explain it to me in a way that I can understand? The one who inherits the true Azure. Not that foolish imitation you have now. Eki's arm. What? 
Hmm. It won't be long now. The world will change. A great deal will happen that is beyond my understanding. <laughs> I cannot say I enjoy the prospect, but something about it excites me. Oh, there's nothing exciting about it. You're not making any sense. Oh, but before the world changes, something else will. You gotta fill me in here. <laughs> Please. Hey, wait a minute! What the hell? So this power's just Here is your W, you won. Congratulations. <laughs> What's with her? Why does she look so happy? More importantly, their resemblance is uncanny. Oh, she's in the sky now. What are you trying to do? The view is nice, though. Not <laughs> oh, Gil. A moment, please. Princess? Quickly. As you wish. As you wish. I did not foresee that he would push me to this extreme. <laughs> oh, Ragnar. I do so want to know what happens next. Come to me. You want to play, don't you? Nox Nictoris Gigant. Take Mikazuchi. Cutscene. Is that a coffin in space? <laughs> Don't tell you shit. Yeah, it'd be like that's just cutscene. Restriction mechanism released. Dimensional interruption imaginary number developing. Connecting to congenital border. Activating Skiomi unit. It's impossible. Even you cannot defeat Skiomi's absolute defense. It will be four years before you can awaken again. Until then, go to sleep, young one. Who needs context, am I right? So, wait, are we like to explain oh, what, oh, the, what the hell that what was? Hell? So, pretty much, pretty much, I guess, talking about Hara, which we'll get to next game. Uh, they pretty much oh. told Rachel if you couldn't fix the time loop, it's going to destroy Takasuchi. Oh, <laughs> so, pretty oh, much. Jeez. And so, that was for protecting it because just like. Yeah, she won. Oh, she ended the time loop. Uh, you! You're Ragnar the Bloodhead! So yeah, oh, so that was pretty much that giant we satellite weapon. Pretty much the, the, pretty much the quote unquote, what's the best example we can give a uh, uh, will? Um, uh, what's the best example we could Guardians? Gods? What's the best? It's not God. It's a, it's a okay, here's what it is. A nuke. <laughs> Uh, no, like pretty much, if like the, the overseers of this world. Talk about Hara is the overseers of this world. Pretty much, if no, <laughs> if, oh, if Rachel did not end the time loop, they would just nuke Kajuchi right there. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So the the way that the world has been functioning at this point is, at the end of every time loop, it wipes and starts again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, because uh, Ragnar and, and considering Noel pulled Ragnar out of the of the cauldron, it. And it didn't end the loop. Mm -hmm. Well, it, ended, it cut the loop. It didn't actually like reset everything, and so hence the place create, wasn't destroyed. It, yes, it wouldn't create another timeline that the Black Beast was was was, was created in. Okay, well, that's, that's that makes a little sense. See, wouldn't that be great to tell me in game, huh? Game. <laughs> what do you think you're doing here? You can't run or hide from me. <laughs> no, we'll finally yes, remembers. You have the right to remain <laughs> You're not making any sense. Just calm down for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, God. I've been waiting for this moment. Look at me. Look at me, Noel Vermillion. 
to the face. Hello, oh, Rachel again. No, no, Al. Oh, hey, Rachel. Do not look at that man. Uh. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> you recognized me, didn't you? Hey, shitty vampire! Who's <laughs> laughing now? You bastard! Hey now, that was close. What the hell? God, the way his mouth is moving anime yeah, looks so what weird. Yeah, the lip flaps here, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, but if you insist, I might reconsider, you know. I might be able to get a good warm-up out of it. Damn you. Long time no see, Ragnar the Blood Edge. How's your right arm holding up? Oops, my bad. It was me who chopped that off, wasn't it? So how is it? Doesn't that fake arm come in handy? Do you think it's pretty good for an imitation? Shut up, you son of a bitch. Ragnar, stop! Don't interrupt me, rabbit! I am loath to admit it, but the situation has changed. You haven't a chance, Ragnar. Yeah, yeah. What she said. <laughs> I think that dumb vampire right there is the only one who can keep up with me now. A little bitch like you wouldn't be able to satisfy me. God. Did I misuse the phrase? Oh well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard! You wanna try me? Bring it on, you son of a bitch! That's a little too cocky for a puppy like you. <laughs> if you keep yelping at me, I'll have to seriously kill you. Oh, and just who is being cocksure now? Cocksure? Little boy. Yeah, it's like the pretty much the proper way of saying like overconfident, like cockshaw. <laughs> it's a good one. another way of saying cocky. But seriously, you're lucky, Ragnar. You have such a sweet guardian with you. What did you say, you son of a bitch? I told you to stop, Ragnar. Is there a bitch? Is there well, like a I counter how really I say bitch in this game? Today, so no, no. Just let the little puppy go. <laughs> It'd be a lot, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. for me to handle three scary people like you. Oops. It's more like two people and a dog, huh? My god. <laughs> Let's do this again sometime, stupid vampire. Say hello to the old man for me. And that's our new hey, and that's our main up? villain for the franchise. Mm-hmm. Tear me. What's with him? What's going on? What was that all about? Damn it. Hey, are you okay? Uh, Noel, was it? Hey, get a grip. Hey, Noel. Clark. <laughs> She's just blanking out. Susa no o. Kokonoe, you are watching this, aren't you? Yeah. I've been waiting for this. I swear, I'm gonna take that son of a bitch out myself. No matter what it takes! And thus ends Climb the Trigger. God, what a sh convoluted story. Uh, it won't get better. <laughs> like, so I don't mind convoluted stories, a lot of old moving parts and different characters. But at least other ones explain it, its points a bit better. I guess we should do a round table of our dots. So, uh, yeah, only you go first since as you're in, as a view of the outsider, like, okay, like, like at least the story part again, the story characters, all that stuff, because, you know, well, yeah. Well, that's the thing, like, I don't even, I 
it's very it was pretty unclear what the actual story of this game was and i'm thinking of it saying like say it like for example i don't know like anything about this franchise and when they say this comes out like i play this game then just this game i don't look into anything else what's the story it's not easy to figure out and if i didn't have you two to bounce off and look talk about it, i probably wouldn't have like got the uh, an idea of it i don't mind like but that said, the actual story that is here, that that that, it, that it's telling, I actually quite like. I like. I, I'm all up for like time loops and like stuff like that, especially the whole idea of like breaking the loop, which then kind of like sets the story of the friend of the world in motion. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, it's other than Rachel just kind of like giving out L's on the daily, like <laughs> <laughs> that just seemed to be all she did in this. So <laughs> like I guess as you see, like. From what I'm gathering, the next games really clarify the story of the character, the motivations of the characters a lot more. Yes, most of them. Yeah. Because this one really didn't do this. As, as we said, like loser Noel. What was her motive here? She literally just came to find Jin, and then she like got like just cried 90 percent of the time. You know. Mm -hmm. Oh. There's not much of like actually what's going on. Oh uh, yeah, here's the thing. Uh, when this first game became as fans, they often asked everyone about the short story to see more of the character. Noelle's with the funniest was it's just her thing. It's a in recruiting her. That's all that story was for her. Uh, everyone else it was like just come in. Like all her was was just like Noelle become my secretary. Okay. <laughs> so okay. What do you think? Are... So, like that story. So that's your thoughts on the story. All oh, gone with the animation. Um, but what do you think of the cast and characters, all that stuff? Again, why I love the series. I, I, it may be just because f uh, fighter games have a have trouble with conveying stories at some points. Like some of the characters, are, I, I liked how they were done. Like Tega, I thought was done in a really cool way because he's like he was like the only character of this entire cast who didn't want to fight for no reason. Level Tao. I mean, well, Tao just picked fights every day. <laughs> just dumb. <laughs> like it was more effective. Like like how. When it comes to like mixing gameplay and story here, you have characters that literally they're like, with Carl, not even for Carl's fight. So, hey you, what? Let's fight. Why? I'm all going to fight you now. It's, it's like there's no real justification. It just happens because it's a fighting game. People fight. And it's, and it's established why he fights in another character's story. <laughs> and then like when you have Tega, it's like he's just where for example someone tries to fight him, he's like just lets an off. They're like too bad when you fight. He's like, God, do I have to really? <laughs> and also, like, also like the one of the characters motivation is told straight on. Mm. But well, like well, the characters well, are good. I, I don't want to, like just from this game. Um, the characters that uh, I that appear, I want to say weak or like to barely know anything about them. But that's probably intentionally mysterious. It's probably like Rachel. I mean, we don't know that much about Noel. Only the fact that like she went to school. And there's like all the stuff about the other uh, uh, units and whatnot, which is still up in the air of like what actually is going on there. New Thirteen was like, I mean, is she even a character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, like her character's re okay. Something else I did not bring out throughout all this because well, I didn't think it was important. This game is not well. These games not get well translated until Continuum until Chrono Phantasma. Oh, yeah, I can imagine like, the translation. What does that mean? I, well, I, I like the diverse cast of characters with different motivations, though. Yeah, like, you know, that's like that's comparing good. characters like Ragnar, Lychee, and Carl. They both have very different ideas of how they go to, how they go about this world, just in general. And it's interesting to see those kind of ideals and not just those characters, but just in general. Because this is a quite a decent sized cast of characters. Like it's not small, not massive, but you know, and it gets, you know, it gets bigger decent. and bigger and bigger. Um, yeah, as I've seen from like slight like, snapshots, but yeah. So I, overall, thought it was nice. It was not wasn't groundbreaking. Like uh, I would it, say, if I played this when it first came, I wouldn't have been hooked. I would be like, yeah, this is nice and fun game. Post credit scene. Sir, you wanted to see me. Oh, hello. I'm Hazuma from the Intelligence Department. It's nice to meet you. You're that Yayoi family that I keep hearing about. Thanks for coming all the way from there. Uh, uh... Oh, by the way, 
Hierarchically speaking, I'm technically a captain. But the intelligence department isn't bound by hierarchy, so please relax. Oh, my apologies, Captain. I just asked you to relax. <laughs> oh, well. The reason that I called upon you, First Lieutenant, is because I'd like to put you in charge of a classified mission. What sort of a mission would require the intelligence department to get involved, sir? Oh, oh, I know what you're trying to get at. But don't worry. I have a full grasp of the character of your squad, First Lieutenant. Besides, this is a direct order from the main headquarters. Oh, would you like some proof of that? Here is a signature from the Imperator. My apologies. I didn't mean to pry. Oh, no. Please, don't worry about it. Now, let me continue. The details of the mission will be given verbally. Since it's a classified mission, it'd be inconvenient to leave any record of it. Besides, the mission description is simple enough for you to memorize it on the spot. Yes, sir! Ah, uh, all right. Here it comes. <clears throat> First Lieutenant Yayoi Tsubaki, I'd like to assign you to assassinate Major Jin Kisaragi and Lieutenant Noel Vermilion. <laughs> the seal of the fate is not broken. Now it's up to you, Blaze Blue. <laughs> and now we complete everything for Kosovaki, Tsubaki, Valkaheim. Let's see, yep. But uh, I was like, I, I, this is good. It was, wasn't, you know, to me, I find it's not this like phenomenal story that I'm like, yeah, he's really cool. The characters are nice. Story was okay. You know what? Okay, our pot. Okay, so okay, so, so people who are watching this, watch this. We're going to be watching Miss Light. That'll be that'll be, be an ex that'll be a separate pre-recorded yeah, video that will uh, up on, on Ryan's channel. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Um, but um, which I'm curious how much of this explains that. Yep. But mm. so um, but yeah, Owen. Over, like what, any highlight, you know, you tell your thoughts of the story and like the overall cast, but is there like anything that caught your eye, any characters, that caught, like any characters you like, anything that you really like from this as the new com as the new as the newcomer? From um, this? I mean, honestly, one of the things that was that was it's a really small thing. It was it was it's more of a technical gameplay like design thing, and it was seeing how. AI react to non-proactive gameplay well, and I how know, the no, no, AI no, 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 is no, no, I was talking about, I talk about any characters you really like. I, I know what you mean, but I'm just putting this, uh, just putting it out there as a weird thing in this. I, I don't know even. Like that's the thing. Like, uh, you're, 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 you're aspiring developer, but you don't really know how AIs work. Yeah, but, but what I mean by like you know, any characters that stand out to me it was like it was like nothing really was like. This was an amazing moment that I remembered. It was, it was those funny moments in really, and some decent like, like good power, like decent like uh, moments. But like, I mean, I, one thing that probably stood out was how Jin went batshit every time Ragnar was just Ragnar was just like in mention. Yeah, <laughs> that was interesting. The um the reveal of Hawkman was nice, of like who he actually was and the backstory of that. I actually really liked that. Um, I don't know, like, if, like for example, for me, Carl and Rackney were just the most, the weakest characters of this lot, who barely had any backstory explained, just, just kind of there. Like, I, I, I don't, refresh, tell me if I'm wrong, but in this game, it never explicitly says that Lychee was involved with the previous Arachne, Dr. Arachne. In that sense, you're right, and that fully says straightforward, huh? It's never so. If like I wasn't told that that was a, I, is that re fact revealed later on? Yes, next yes. game. That's the thing. In this game, I just see Lightyear protecting Blob game, Man. Uh, a lot of this, a lot of this continuous shift is clarifying stuff. But like that's the, uh, that's the thing. Like to this game, to me, this game was okay. It, it wasn't groundbreaking. It didn't go. Oh, these are characters are really interesting. Like it was, it was definitely had interesting moments in it. But I feel like I would have. I think I would have enjoyed this world more if it was just as the original concept of an RPG rather than a fighting game. Oh no, this first game is obvious that's up with what's meant to be an RPG. 
for me. And because like they have some really good, like good world building stuff, but it's like barely because they're restricted from being a fighting game that didn't it's show it's that well. For me, the mm. highlight. I know it's gonna go to my. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna say my thoughts after Wills, but for me, the moments I enjoy the most. And this guy goes to the series in general. It's all the small moments, not like the big. I, I like the story. I like the story, even though mm. I think it's told not that great. But Tao's Tao stuff, Bangs stuff, like, like Tao's trigger life, Tiger's kind of dialogue with everybody, Bangs, oh, like Bangs rolls. Um, Lighty when she's just being at her doctor, um, all that I really love. I love it, it's because there's such nice characters to be around. Mm. Like when I th like, well, like yes, you can get against like Tao doesn't serve a purpose. Bang doesn't serve a purpose. The story, but to me that is true. But they are the most to me they are the most memorable part of the game for me because how much I enjoy seeing them. Uh, every time they appear, I get a smile on my face because they're such fun characters. Uh, like Tao is such a lovable idiot. Um, you just kind of go doll at her. Bang! It's just a lovable man. So Tager, so Tager, and like she when she isn't like when is when it isn't the acne plot. I really do like Lychee a lot because she's a very kind, motherly fi figure and just stuff like that. That is what I enjoy about the series the most. And which is why which I'm glad they embrace that more in later games. But going for this game alone, that's what I enjoy the most. It's just all the small, kind of slave the lifey stuff. I don't, and I kind of agree with that. That and to, that they because like some of the like more dramatic aspects of this and like the serious like elementaries, they see, they seem very generic anime at some points. Mm -hmm. So they don't stick in the memory like you have the classic revenge plot with a uh, bang and Jin about my towers burned down my old master's kill so I'm gonna take you down but what I what, what I what sticks me about bang isn't those like stereotypical plot lines it's the craziness of his attitude and just how he's just <laughs> I love the uh, when was Lachi when he's like uh, we were playing Lachi's thing he's like trying to chase after you to uh, Lachi to like confess to her and like every chance he gets, he that she like beats someone else and moves on. Done. <laughs> He's just trying to chase her. Done. And eventually he finds out, and she's like, "Yeah, no, I'm good, thanks." <laughs> He's just like, "What? God damn it!" So like, yeah, those smaller moments where it's more, it's less serious and more more fun and more memorable. Mm -hmm. And actually, like, they they feel like they like, I like would rather look at them than just like super serious. That's that's what that's what like. All right, like the characters with that's why characters like Rachel. I'm like, what are you doing here? You're just giving it L's to people. You don't even you don't even you're not even here to explain the plot. <laughs> you're just here to be a dick. I'm gonna pull you into my dimension. Like, hey, hey, bunny, what are you doing here? Why are you getting me here? You suck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, okay, thanks for that. And like, yeah, the characters like. I, <laughs> I did love, like, what was it, when we were doing the, um, the bit with Noelle off screen, getting the last, like, the few percentage of it, where the bit where, when, like, she's chasing her around, trying to put her in clothes, and Tao's just like, booby lady, you smell like alcohol. <laughs> it's just... Those are the highlights, yeah, that's, like, the highlights of what I love about That was movie. great, it's just, like, just, it just more humanizes the characters as well. Mm-hmm. Um... But yeah, that, yeah that's, uh, so is that your like overall final thoughts, Owen? Yeah! Oh, I would say that's over my final thoughts on this. So, it, it was, it was, it was good. It told a decent story, had really, the strongest points were its uh, slice of lifey moments. But also, to me, it had some really good other moments, like the reveal of Huckerman and, um, uh, like, take uh, ta or bang, stuff like that. Now, now, Will, I guess your turn. This game is an utter mess. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple stories just don't make sense as standalone. The big example is being Jin, Car Jin and Carl's, where it's just like Jin is just all over the place, and Carl's is a tra Carl's is a tragedy without explaining why it's tragic. It doesn't probably explain it, but the highlights are just individual, like small individual moments. Like I strongest story mode, in my opinion, or stuff like strongest story mode, in my, story mode in my opinion, are like. 
Tigger, Tigger, the thing that those show off their characters in good depth. Compared to stuff like Rachel, where it just shows her being a bad person. <laughs> I, it, it, how do you feel about going back to this? Like, what was the last time you played this game or looked into this game I before we LP started this? This five years ago. So is is it interesting seeing like going I, like going back to it and seeing how it's and seeing see how much of a mess it is? Yes, it is because a lot of it's just like man. Ooh. I, it's really. I didn't want to bring this up during during this, but uh, yeah, this game had five five riders. Jeez. Which it, which in some places I can tell. Yeah, I can some, tell. Yes, yeah, obvious because next next game we're like and it depends like say half those riders wouldn't return for continuum shift. Oh really? Half of them just wouldn't come back. And wow. Yeah, yeah, it's like. I always could tell those writers were brought in because, well, they wrote Guilty Gear scripts. Uh, Fair enough. Oh, How similar is Guilty Gear in its structure of its gameplay to story? Uh, the only different. Uh, the story. Okay. Uh, uh, the story is pretty much arcades. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, uh, so I also think. Any other I, dots, I, uh, Will? Uh, the the actual proper strongest moment I feel is when Ragnar activates his his Azure Grimoire. I feel that's a general struggle moment. And I feel like it's the only proper struggle moment that landed here as well. It doesn't help that this port fucked up the music and the story, so a lot of great music wasn't in the stream. Mm -hmm. uh, so any, 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 but, any last oh, words, Will? The, the team shift will be better. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And not for me, better. I saw who is live streaming this and stuff. I'm doing this retrospective. Um, I love Blaze Woo. I love it so much. I hate I. This game is not fun to play. It is not <laughs> fun to. At least this port is not fun to play. Even when I got arcade stick, I have still got like. So again, I love the franchise. I, this is why I'm doing the retrospect in the first place. But uh, also on that port thing, if any you want to play Guilty Gear, please play any other version. Let me get. Can I trigger? Can I trigger? Please play any other version but the PC port. It's the worst one. Yeah. Oh my so God. Overall, this, so my first game was the third game. So I have again. That's I used to say that's the best game uh, in terms of content-wise. The telling the fourth game is the best because the roster and it has the best girl ever. Um, <laughs> but oh, Forest going to be a maze, Ryan. I'm I I've been still trying to organize that. Say again. How are we going to the story mode of that game is making my head spin. Well, we have, we have the first half of that chunk. It's going to be arcades. Um, uh, no, just half it in general. Well, yeah, but um, so story-wise, it's okay. Uh, it's horribly told. Uh, the main plot is horribly told. Because here's the thing. The main plot is not bad. The main plot, once you when get... When you know what it is, things make sense. It makes sense. It's just the way they told it was... Whee! Not good. There is no because it, it, it's a, it, it's like even if you try to piece things together, it's not. It, there's a lot of conflicting things because it's a, it's multiple timelines. So you and five riders. <laughs> so you don't know which ones like makes sense. Um, and stuff like that. And so yeah, but what I I. I had no fun <laughs> playing this game. Uh, if you couldn't tell from the 13 parts, um, <laughs> I I I hated I hate the way this game do does its percentage. I hate it because you had to lose. You deliberately had to lose. How are you supposed to know that? How are you supposed to know you're supposed to deliberately lose to? I, yeah, I like like. Overall, I don't, I, I don't like that that's a not, a not explained or B, like, not a great, it's an odd way to do your stuff. But I also kind of like the aspect of, like, they're including losing into a canon story. How it's like, because that's one thing I find interesting, like, in games oh, in general, I, that, like... I, I do find it interesting, in fact, it's one of the things that I'm, that's styled much better in the, in the next one. Yeah, but... Like, it's, it, you know, it's like, it, oh, you yeah, lose, you know, that's... Yeah, yeah that's, that's great. Keeps going. Yeah, that's cool, but I hate it as a gameplay element. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a cool idea, but it's just not implemented very intuitively, and it's not very... It's not fun to interact with. It, Especially when it's not told to you. Yeah, that's the biggest <laughs> problem. Nothing is told to you. There's no tutorial, there's no nothing. 
There's no nothing telling you, hey, do the sword to finish or this and this and this to get to this end. No, I hate it. Is I, there even like any hints no. at all, or is it just figure no. it out? Figure no, it out. Get the, go get the card, loser. <laughs> <laughs> really did. Pretty much. Oh my god. Like, I hated that, and just the game is. I can't tell it's just a Steam port, but this game is jank. I, it is the Steam port. This I, Steam port I is feel cool. it looks jank. Even if it wasn't jank, I still think some of the decisions they did in this game, I do not. I, I played the very first Guilty Gear and I had more fun playing that than this. Because that port's good. Well, again, no, again, it's not just the port. It's just some of the input commands are just think are too lucas. Some of the, the like, uh, here, you want to do Ragnar's uh, second uh, Astral uh, Disorder finish? First, go to a mode where you, your health is depleting, then make sure you have. That only takes 50%. But here, it's the only way to do Ragnar's second distortion is to have 100%. And you really hope it'll land that when you actually do And you just better hope your opponent doesn't literally jump over it. Yeah, <laughs> I hate that. I hate that design. I hate that. And just the it's fact also the fact. Yeah, that's it. It's a janky port, but at the end of the day, like there are some weird ass design decisions made here. And that, the save, like, just, like saves. Why is there no saves? Just I. It's it. it it's it is this. It would. I. I really. A lot of times, I just wanted to like flip my arcade stick because how much this game is making me mad. As you saw from Carl's part and stuff like that, or the Hawkman rampage of part two, it's like that. It it's not fun, and that's not just port anymore. That is just the game itself. And overall, just it it, it, it it's one of those frustrating things where it's like, as much as I love the series, this is I in terms of the story mode, it is bad. It is. Bad. I, because, I, it, and it's not going, not, 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 not that with the story itself, but the story mode gameplay. The gameplay. Is bad. I have never hated playing a game so much. In terms of, like, I never have a, like, it was one of those things where I want, you know, I played to the story, because I, you know, I want to know the story, but I just, I hate going to the story mode because so many baffling decisions. I go, why would you do that? Why? Because again, I'm. I will say that I'm alright at fighting games. As you guys can tell, in these 13 parts, I at least know what I'm doing. But mm. the fact that even if you're decent at fighting games, you're you're still gonna have a horribly stupid time trying to beat <laughs> these fights. I go why? Because I feel like a rule of story mode fight, fighting games and story modes is. Make them, uh, f make them casual friendly. P make it friendly for people who only, who only, make it friendly for people who only, uh, like, who are not good at fighting games, but want to play them for the story, because the story. You always feel, I feel like fighting games story mode should be at least pretty, or you can play it, not, play it easily. Casually. Like, if you're not good at fighting games, you can still beat the story mode, because, you just want you just want to know the story of the game, but the fact the game doesn't do that, I hate so much. It, it gatekeeps you from aspects of the story based on your skill, mm -hmm. which is not a good way to do it. No, it is not. It is, it is not, and such to that. So, and and it's not. And I would say just watch the anime, but the anime is horrendous also. So, don't do that. <laughs> Uh, it's like, is it, is it like the argument of like, you know, with Duncan Rumble, yeah, people say, watch the game, watch the anime, play the game? Well, here's the thing, Cloudy Trigger is the, is, is, here's what's adapted, okay. here's what's adapted, here's what Cloudy Trigger is adapted into that anime. True ending, kinda, that's it. It did kind of took only like two or three episodes of that show. Cool, okay. <laughs> so yeah, um, uh, I guess. Also, Kara only, only appears in... Only appears for like a minute and dies and leaves. <laughs> what? Yeah, uh, we'll get to that when we get to that when we continue the show. But, so yeah. Um, yeah, so again, like, again, I assume, again, so, uh, again, I like the I like the story, the characters are so great, but I can't recommend playing to the story that much. Like, well, here's a question for you. When was the last when was the last time you played this game before you started this? I only played I only played it once because I was on set for a buck. 
on Steam mm. sale. And I only got it just to get, just to have the complete playthrough collection. So was this your first time playing it? This is my first before? time fully, like, uh, this is my first time fully playing through it. Like, Coutinho and Chef, next time we're playing, I had, be we, me, uh, we, I had beaten that already. So at least, uh, so at least know my game. I, ma I mainly ask because I'm curious to hear, I would be curious to hear if your opinion on the game has changed since the last time you played it, but well, if you're, this is the first time you're really playing it. Yeah, first time really playing it, and it's, uh, like it's, God. again, I'm a fan of the series. I love the series, but that's due to the other, the, the next games. Yeah. Like and kind of, kind of, it's kind of like whack how like this game. I mean, that's, I'm assuming that the console ports and, and the arcade. Did this have an arcade release, like yes, an actual arcade yeah, box? Arcade release. Yes. That's so like game ported in Japan. Yeah. Because I imagine they would have they would have performed a lot better than the than the PC. Was the PC uh, released like uh, come out much later? Yeah, I think yes. it came out much later. Uh, when it was first released, it doesn't have multiplayer. That's a weird choice. That tells you how bad this port is. There's no online multiplayer. <laughs> yeah, no option. Jeez. I mean, I, yeah, it's, honestly, it's okay. Uh, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting to see how like janky this first game is, and how like it still became a franchise. Yeah, and it's not saying again. The game itself is not bad. The core fighting game elements is good. I mean, that's probably why I got a sequel. That's why I kept going, you know. Yeah. Let me uh, check. What's the gap between 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 them? Um, but still. Um, but yeah. So that ends climbing trigger again. Stay tuned for once the final part comes up. We're uh, uploading a extra episode for like season me of the without being re recorded. But yeah, so next, next, very next year. Uh, yep. So, for we, we, so next week we're not going straight ahead to the shit because I need a break. Uh, from my swoop. So, but our next game. Uh, so, but yeah, so I'm. But hey, I'll say this. Uh, but overall, like in my first ever live stream series, I enjoy that. I, I, I think having live streaming this and have, talking, having you to commentate was. Make, makes it makes the, the the pain more enjoyable. <laughs> uh, but next next game I'm planning to play for Thursdays is not. It's gonna be a very easy game in terms of when I'm playing that because it's not gonna rage me. But uh, <laughs> but so stay tuned for next week as we start a new game as we jump a kick back with the round and spin, spin. And and as jump back at it again. <laughs> uh, as we will, as next as next week we start a new game with the Lego Ninjago the. The Lego Ninjago movie, the video game, bleh. Uh, that is one hell of a title. Video game, um, as as what well, as yeah that that sounds yeah that sounds random, but fuck it, we all love Ninjago, <laughs> so we're hell doing, yeah. So we're doing like that. Like a ninja. Yeah, yeah. So we're doing that. So uh, get re get ready for all your Ninjago memes, everyone. It can, it can, and I want, want I kind of want to make that run a Jareth only run, but yeah, I'll say that. For, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll do that for like a charity stream, or maybe. Yeah, we'll, we'll we might say that one. So yeah, so yeah, say so get your Ninjago memes up anyway. As we're going mm. again, we're going as ninjas never quit. Ninjas never quit. Right. Mm -hmm. So anyways, where can people find you too? At some, I I'm on some I I I, I am I am on Twitter. At, my ad is speak at, will is, speak. Um, I am speaking. <laughs> At some <laughs> random will one. Uh, Twitter here for me as well. Uh, oh, and Barry OD. And follow me at Darko Sixty Four Three on YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. And to check out Yo-Club.com where we do cover news about Tokusatsu, comic books, video games, TV shows, as well as interviews with actors and voice actors. So yeah, stay tuned to next week, everyone. Next week, everyone, as we will jump up, kick back, whip kick around, back, and spin, around and spin, and jump at it again. Anyways. Night, everyone. Night.